What's up, researchers? The Guru here. I'm back with another episode of Mendeley. This time, I'll be showing you how to cite and reference an author who wrote two or more articles in the same year. If you're a first-time visitor to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified whenever there's a new upload. Remember to like, comment, and share this video with your family, friends, and relatives. Okay, let's get to it. What are the tools that I'll be using this uh, episode? Using Microsoft Word, and I'll be using Mendeley. So in Mendeley, I have uh, my articles that are already uh, imported, and these are the two that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to import another third one so that we can uh, illustrate our examples even further. Okay. So what I need to do is in my um, Microsoft Word, I need to import my citation. So I'm just going to have a text say history of um, computers. Right. So let's say these are the people who said that statement. So I'm going to type their names there, 2019 and then another one. So as you can see here, uh, the first article that I selected that does not have a number in brackets, okay? And then the second one has got a number in brackets. So Mendeley is thinking that these two articles are the same. Well, yes, they are, they, are, they are different, but they are more like the same. Why? Because the authors involved in both articles are the same, okay? And the year of publication in these two articles are the same. Even though these citations and, and uh, references are unique, and different uh, but when you summarize them in this way they are more like the same but Mendeley in memory it knows that they are what they are different so if I had add a third one here it will come with Kademe 2019 in brackets two, and so on and so on and so on and so on okay so the moment I click in okay it's gonna go to Mendeley try to import those two citations that I have uh, highlighted there and then it will format them and then insert them okay uh, if you want to know uh, how to do citations and references about another video that I've recorded that details how to do this. Okay, so it has inserted my two citations and uh, it says that Kademe Teme and Finomo Rinzi 2019A and 2019B. Okay, so the only thing that is different between these two articles is the title, but we don't show our titles in, in, in our citations. So it puts A and B. Okay, the other article is article A and the other article is article B. Okay, this is it when you are inserting a citation at the end of the text. When you are doing uh, inline citation, okay, in text uh, citation, um, when you're saying according to, according to who? According to this guy, so I'm just going to copy their names, okay, right, and then insert uh, those two citations. So, Kademi 2019, and then another Kademi. So before I do that, I'm going to suppress the authors for the first one and suppress the authors for the second one and then click it. Okay. So it's going to import those citations, but it's not going to include the names because I've suppressed them. It only puts 2019A and 2019B, uh, those ones in bracket, and then you put the names outside the bracket. Okay. So according to Kademi Teme and Twinomo Rinzi in bracket 2019A and 2019B, they say that, right, and then you write your text whatever they said. So this is it when you're doing uh, in-text citation. I also have another video that I recorded on how to do in-text citation. Please check on the sliding um, bar there, the top, and then click on that for more details. Okay, so this is it when you're inserting uh, in, uh, articles that are written by the same author in the same year. So if these people have got three articles that they, they wrote, um, the other one will come with a C. So we've got A, B, and then a C. Actually, let me do that. Let me let me add the third article. So I'm just, just gonna do a little search here of Kademeteme. And then I'm going to look for another article that Kademeteme wrote in 2019, which is that one. It does not have a tick, which means it's not saved in the library. So I'm just gonna double click it and then save that reference. So it's already uh, in my library. If I go under all my documents, I'll see it. It's uh, that one, right? So I'm gonna cite the three articles now. Um, so insert citation, Kademe, uh, and then select top one, another Kademe, and then select the second one, another Kademe, and then select the last one. 
so i've got my three articles selected you see you see the third one has got a two and then the fourth one will have a three and so on and so on and so on so i'm gonna I'm just gonna click ok and then it will put the citation in brackets just like the top one uh, but this time it will be 2019a 2019b and 2019c you can see them here b c and a right and then when you are doing an in-text citation i'm just gonna copy those names i according to uh you paste these, those names and then you insert your citations um first one second one third one and then we are suppressing authors here um, because it's in text citation okay. so it's going to format them and it put put abc in bracket like that so you can see we would our um, uh, b c and a uh, in, um, in in brackets so this is it when you add four it will be a d when you add the fifth one it will be an e and so on and so on and so on so this is how you do uh, how you cite an author or authors who have written many articles within the same year okay and then when now you insert your bibliography let's see what happens so i'm going to say my bibliography and it's already in in upper six okay insert bibliography it's going to try to import all these three articles and insert them okay so the the one which is labeled a is that one structure equation module okay the one which is labeled b okay is the ineffective next of technology and the one which is labeled as c is the role of sme uh, uh dynamic capabilities on the evaluation of existing ict okay and when you change your style to say probably harvard right it will also update your citations and your references and make sure that even the a b and c are also in uh, the same uh, format but this is how it will be it will be cited but keep in mind that there are some uh, styles that do not put a b and c let's check on the american medical association and see if it's going to include a a b and c so you see it doesn't it just says one two one two one two three and then even in the references as well we do not have an a or a b or a c so this is only relevant for certain styles like upper six and harvard but not for other styles okay um thank you so much for staying put as i took you through citing um many articles that were written by the same author in the same year okay uh i've got so many videos that i've written about mendeley check on my uh, channel you see all of them remember to subscribe to this channel if you've not done so also remember to like to comment and to share with your friends and colleagues i really like to hear your feedback concerning my videos so that i'll see if i can improve or uh, if everything is going well all i want is for you guys my audience to uh, to understand and improve your research so that you won't be you won't be entangled in a web of confusion and frustration because of research that's the whole purpose of this channel so i do hope i'm able to achieve that thank you so much for the positive feedback that you're always giving me and thank you so much for keeping on tuning in every week as i upload a video thank you so much and uh, keep on watching and keep on improving your style when it comes to con conducting and doing research thank you see you in the next video